Hello and welcome to Shoot and Breeze. Just recently I received a query on the construction of the annealing workstation that I have and, and really it was more the question was how did I engage the trigger of the drill to turn the brass. So here I'm just going to disassemble two or three parts of the annealing station so you can see how it works. This is one part that I can just slot out from the working station. So it just comes off. But it's a tight fit. And here you'll see a large screw that can go down and up. And this screw is actually what engages the trigger on the drill. These slices are here just for when I slide it into place. There's two screws either end to hold it firm and steady. Here I have a long bolt. When I pass this completely through to the other side and bolt it off the other end. It actually holds the drill in place so the drill doesn't move. It's already pretty firm at the moment but it really gives it a good firm hold so when there's any workings on the kneeling station by tipping when I tip this little handle here it doesn't knock it off place and then for moving it out of line for the flame. So we can just take out the drill here. You can see the bolt the way it would pass through the hole here. That's just a little floor plate to keep the drill in place at 90 degrees and just a little concave out here just to work out into the end of the drill here. So if I put it together we can see how it goes. So I just slide the drill back in. Take this, it's a little tight fit so it might take a bit of a squeeze to get it through. Just going to slide it into place. Oh. So it slides into place. It locks in pretty tight into the drill. You can see there's it's a pretty firm grip. And in a few moments I'll put this thing through because it takes a few minutes just to drill it, push it through the other end and bolt it off. But let's engage the trigger, which is the main purpose of the demonstration. If I just turn it around a little. If I wind this bolt down, it's in line with the trigger inside here. So if I wind it down, it'll start to engage the trigger and you can adjust the speed. So That'll now have a concentric speed of the drill. If I want to make it faster, continue to push down on the drill and leave it off. If I want to slow it down, just reverse it. And that'll allow me always when I'm still moving that I can tilt and you can see that the drill Everything's pretty safe and pretty sturdy and it'll be a lot more sturdier once I put the big bolt through and hold it hold it through here and put it in place. So it can work like that. Then they just turn off the drill, just wind it off so it disengages the trigger. And you're good to go and leave it sitting in place, no dismantling or anything like that. Okay, so I hope that explains how the kneeling workstation is put together. So I'll just slide this off. You can see it again. So it's tight fit. You can see the curvature here that's taken out just to match the curvature in the drill. And that's the bolt once again. Winds it down to engage the trigger. Back disengage the trigger. It's just a basic black and decker cheap drill. But it does the job. Thank you for watching.